Mitzi Gilroy and her husband have owned this pasture land in central Saskatchewan for decades. To me, we've looked at this for how many years and what do you see? Oh, some nice grass and stuff, but uh, there was all these secrets buried here. Archaeologists were brought in to survey the area for a proposed gravel road. They found tools, pottery, and volcanic obsidian rock. These indigenous artifacts are up to 10,000 years old. Gilroy thought that discovery would put the road project on hold, but that didn't happen. As you can see, construction appears to have begun with the grading of the proposed route already underway. Now, the Gilroys and Indigenous leaders say that they are shocked and disappointed. CBC News obtained this Saskatchewan government report. It documented the rare find, but then says, This office has no concern with the project proceeding as planned. The reason for approval is unclear. First Nations leaders are furious the government didn't tell them about the artifacts. We expect that we are notified so that uh, we are able to come and do the proper protocols to ensure that uh, the sites are not disturbed. A government official told CBC News there's no law requiring them to inform First Nations when they find Indigenous artifacts. The Gilroys invited elders to the site this week, and after a solemn pipe ceremony, farmers and Indigenous leaders talked about the need for reconciliation. We need to try and get over uh, perceptions of racism, those types of things. Um, but sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's deeply embedded in, the, in a system. Today, Watney was allowed to take a look at it before it was shipped to the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. It's, it's extremely emotional for me. Um, we've been through a lot. You could feel the, the history there. Watney wonders what else lies beneath the site. But once the road is built, he says those treasures could be lost forever. Jason Warwick, CBC News, near Doddsland, Saskatchewan.